Hello everyone and welcome to my video showcasing the loot from ore packs. If you're not sure what ore packs are, they are a reward from the Giants Foundry. You can buy multiple of them. They'll give you 30 random ores, mostly coal, but it can also give you other types of ores as well. I know it can give you iron, probably all the way up to runite, but I'm not too sure about that, but I guess we will find out today. Now I should mention before opening any of the ore packs that the ore packs will give you exactly 30 ores per opening, meaning if I open an ore pack and I get 20 coal and 10 iron, that would be 30 total. And I've actually gotten exactly that reward before, so that is kind of how the ore packs work. Before I just go ahead and start buying the ore packs, which I will be buying around 150 of them, I think 159 with the points I currently have, uh, I do want to go ahead and do some quick maths to kind of figure out how expensive each ore pack is in terms of bars used and if I'm going to spend directly the bars used into reputation into ore packs, seeing maybe if we can make profit. Well, I guess we'll figure that out. Now, I was mentioning profits but at the end of the day you do get coins from the giant foundry as well and with the coins alone since mithril and steel bars are kind of cheap on their own i'm pretty sure you do profit just off the coins alone however i do want to kind of just assume we get zero coins just for the sake of videos i do realize that's not the reality but that is what i'm going to assume for this video now i know i mentioned quick maths but the math actually gets pretty complicated especially when you consider different types of alloys as well so i'll go ahead and talk through the math i've already done starting off i earned seventeen thousand five hundred and 19 foundry reputation within 10 hours of the 1414 alloy and within the 10 hours i used 2016 mithril and steel bars so a total of 4032 but i'll explain why i did it like i did here in a second and if we actually take the amount of bars and divide it by the foundry reputation it means i earned around 8.7 foundry reputation per bar Next up, I realized it takes 200 foundry reputation in order, order to buy an ore pack. So I divided 8. or 200 by 8.7 and we got 23, which is about how many bars it takes, mithril and steel bars, in order to buy an ore pack. So like I just said, each ore pack is worth about 23 steel bars and 23 mithril bars. Now I went ahead and also did the math for the 19.9 alloy and both of the results are on screen now. And I'm not going to show the math for that one specifically. If you're curious about it, I will leave it in the description, the math I did for the 19.9 alloy, just because, like I said, it gets pretty complicated and that's not what the goal of this episode is for. And for those curious as well, this is the amount of GP it also costs per ore pack doing the 14... 14 alloy and the 19.9 alloy. As you can see, the 19.9 alloy is a bit cheaper. However, they're comparable. Each ore pack seems to be worth around 26k. And I guess now that we know each ore pack is worth about 26k in bars, we'll see if we make any profit. Now, I, as you can see, I cleared out all of my coals, uh, pretty much all the ores that I could possibly get from the ore packs. So we'll know exactly how much we got. I turned them all into bars. So now that you guys know that I have no ores in the bank to start the video, let's go ahead and start opening some ore packs. So that was 158 ore packs and after opening I did realize that I could actually keep buying and not have to bank every time I receive new stuff in my inventory. So I don't know why I did that, I just didn't click on my mind that it only takes up 4 or 5 inventory spaces with all the ore in together. Anyway this is what I got, pretty underwhelming if I'm going to be honest, 549 iron ore, a bunch of coal which they did say it's going to be very good for coal and not much else and they were quite right about that. So 3,728 coal, 385 mythal ore, 69 nice adamant ore, and only 9 runite ore. That is really, 
bad. Nine Runite Ore, that is, that's just awful. I have no idea if these things scale at all, like based off maybe your smithing level or your mining level, but here's my mining and smithing level if it for some reason does. I can't imagine it does, but eh, it is what it is there. And I did leave myself one ore pack. I guess I'll go ahead and buy it. There's nothing special you can get. We'll just go ahead and open it and it just filters into the inventory. So as you can see in the chat, I have opened 159 uh, ore packs and this is the loot that we got from it nothing too special i guess we'll go ahead and throw it into the price checker 900k i'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it that's just not good that is really really awful i definitely expected better results i knew you could only get 30 ore per ore pack and yeah honestly i don't know what i was expecting but yeah that's that's just kind of awful so even though the ore packs were awful, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless and you have the information now. Probably don't buy any ore packs unless you have literally nothing else to buy like I do. And even then, you don't really expect much. So that is going to be it for me. But I should mention, right after this video goes out, I will be live streaming on Twitch for 24 hours to celebrate hitting 5,000 subs recently. So if you're interested, feel free to check it out. I'll probably be doing some Guardians of the Rift and maybe some other stuff as well. And maybe I'll see you there. If not, I'll have another video, probably a group Iron Man video coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later.